Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of November 30th through December 5th. Um, this is for you and the other person. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. So what are you, now this is, this could be about somebody that you're thinking about a lot or somebody that is thinking about you a lot, okay? Whatever is the strongest energy is what is going to come through. So what do we have for Taurus for the week of November 30th through December 5th? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Temperance card. You and the other person. Of course. Hold on a minute. Um, I'm very particular. The overall energy is the two cups. So this is about a partnership of some sort. So you're going to be questioning a partnership this week. It's about love. Okay? So it's about a union. So the overall energy is about a union of some sort. So I feel as though you are going through some sort of change. You are healing with that temperance card. You are going through... Uh, you've learned some sort of lesson. You're not the same person that you used to be. You're going through a major change. You may be, you may be dipping your feet in, you know, testing the waters, testing the waters with somebody. That, uh, that hair of font reversed is no faith, lack of faith, a lack of trust. Don't believe, don't believe in yourself. You're, you're, you're lacking faith. There's an unexpected choice here. There's a choice in regards to a union. I mean, we have the lover's card too. I feel like you have a choice to make. And I feel like you are needing to go with the flow and you're having a hard time going with the flow. I feel like um, everything, there's some sort of change that is happening and you need to be grounded, but you also need to be fluid. I feel like you are, um, maybe some of you are getting out of a commitment. You don't want a commitment. You know, you, you may, there could be some relationship problems here. You may have an unexpected choice in love. You're not looking for a commitment. You know, you're not looking for anything like that right now. Some of you could be going through a breakup, honestly. I'm just being honest. Um, I think that you're changing. You're going through a major change. You're evo you have evolved, okay? I feel like you, you are trying to create harmony in your life. Uh, but you've got something unexpected that has happened. Maybe somebody is looking for a commitment and you're like, I don't think so. You know, I don't want a commitment. Um, um, but you definitely have an, a choice to make. I feel like there's an opportunity for healing here. You are healing. We have a couple of healing cards. You've done a lot of healing. Um, you've changed, right? You've changed. You're not, you, you're not. Uh, you know, you're in your power, you're in your truth, you know, you're very, you're liking your independence, some of you, some of you want to be independent, or you're, you know, very, you know, uh, I don't know, I feel like you're a very powerful individual, and I feel like you're just, uh, wanting things to be easy you know you're looking for things to be easy but you have a you definitely have a strong connection here with somebody I mean you have the lover's card you have the devil card and you have the you have the two of cups so you you got some sort of some sort of connection here in which you know there's some sort of soul tie you have a soul tie with somebody uh, it looks as though whoever you're dealing with is emotionally unavailable Okay, this person is emotionally unavailable. They may be some sort of trickster. This person may, may be manipulative. They don't communicate well. 
Um, they may have some sort of power over you. Somebody has some, some sort of power over you. Because this is a very powerful individual who is very skilled. Maybe skilled at manipulation. I mean, the magician is a manipulator. It's all there is to it. And this one is uh, emotionally unavailable. Okay? And this is sad. It's grieving. It's, it's. I don't know if there's a breakup here or what. There could be a breakup. And there could be a breakup because somebody has another choice in love. That's what it looks like to me. I think there's another opportunity for love here that has happened it's happened for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. I feel like there's some sort of, um, I don't know, karma here. Or with that justice card, there's some sort of karma. There's, there's There could be a karmic contract. Maybe you were in a karmic contract with somebody. But I feel like that karmic contract is, is coming to a close. It's coming to an end. I feel like somebody is making a decision. They're making a firm decision and they're taking action they're taking action because they're not happy they're not happy at all in the commitment that they are in whoever you are dealing with is um tied to another individual by the looks of things i feel like they're tied to an individual that um you know they have a they have some sort of codependent bond with you know um, I think there's some sort of lust here as well. There's some sort of uh, codependency. But I feel like there is uh, somebody is making a decision. And I feel like they're making a decision to break free from a toxic situation. And I feel like I feel like they're they're breaking free because there's an there's a another opportunity somebody has another opportunity they have another opportunity for a, a deeper connection there's a deeper connection here um so taurus i feel like this week there is going to be a major change um accepting that something is over a commitment a, a relationship whatever it's over and i think it's over like i said because there's a there's an there's another option okay and i think it's a soulmate connection I do. I think it's a soulmate connection. I think whoever your person is, 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 uh, taking action because, you know, they're done. They're, they've been crying. They've been moping, you know, they've been refusing to see, but now they see, now they, now they see they're willing to shed the old to bring in the new, you know, they're willing to do whatever it takes to, uh, bring peace and harmony to their lives. So I feel like you have somebody that is um, sad. I feel like this person is sad and that's why they're taking action. You know, they're going to do whatever it takes. They're going to do whatever it takes to, uh, I don't know, do the right thing. It feels like somebody is going to be doing the right thing. The main challenge between you and this person is honesty, is truth. It feels like somebody hasn't been telling the truth, you know, and I feel like the truth is going to come out. I feel like uh, uh, we have a very authentic individual here who demands the truth, but this person hasn't been getting the truth because of, I don't know, uh, codependency, lust, greed, ego. Ego may have been in, been in the way. But I do see two people coming together and, um, you know, having some sort of conversation, having a conversation about how they feel about each other. I think it happens all of a sudden. I feel like this is a, a very strong, strong, strong connection. I mean, but this and this and this, it, it, it absolutely is. Um, and I think that it's been missed. Whoever you're dealing with has spent so much time you know, blocking their feelings and pushing down their feelings and focusing on hurt and focusing on pain that they couldn't see that there is an opportunity for a loving partnership here. So, um, or a loving partnership with somebody else. I mean, that could be the case. This is, this is a choice between two lovers and it's somebody else. I do feel like there's a choice. There's, this is a broken relationship okay somebody is changing so there's a change that is coming i feel like you um have accepted something you have accepted or you are accepting that there's no reason to commit to somebody that is not meant for you okay 
that's what it looks like to me. It looks like there's no reason to commit to somebody that's not meant for you. And I feel like uh, whoever you're dealing with, um, now there is somebody that is taking action, that is willing to do whatever it takes to um, bring success. Because that's what the magician does. The magician is, is somebody that is very resourceful. That uses all their resources to get what they want. So whoever you're dealing with is very skilled at getting whatever they want. Is very skilled at manipulation. Just saying. But there's sadness here. So we definitely, whoever you're dealing with is sad. And they're sad over a loss. They're sad over a loss and it feels like they are very connected to an individual that, you know, they are bound to karmically. They have some sort of soul contract with this person. I do feel like um, you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be truthful. I do feel like there's going to be some challenging information. I feel like there's there could be some sort of... Um, conversation that is had between two people that uh, I don't know if it's a reconciliation or it leads to a new start in love between two people it happens unexpectedly something may have happened you know out of the blue with that lover's card okay I feel like there's a strong um connection with an individual where there's shared values there's two people that are very very much alike that are uh, bound to be together you know what I'm saying there's definitely a need to be honest and upfront this week I think that I think that uh, the advice is to uh, you know, the advice is the devil card, which is look deep, look a little bit deeper, break free from, from a toxic situation that doesn't serve you. Somebody needs to. There's another option here. There is another option that is better suited. There is. Somebody could be falling in love. They could be falling in love. And you may be falling, unexpectedly falling in love. Or somebody is asking you to make a choice. They're asking you to make a choice between, you know, <laughs> or you're asking them to make a choice. It could go vice, ver vice versa. There is definitely a choice here. It's an unexpected choice in love where somebody is... Uh, and it's almost like they're getting what they asked for because it's as above, so below. Somebody asked. They asked for this connection. It's time to take action to release. It's time to take action to release what no longer serves you. There's another option here. Somebody's dealing with a Gemini. You know, there's a Gemini here. Maybe your partner is dealing with a Gemini. And it feels like they're in love. They're in love. So I feel like this week, some, there's going to be a very... There's going to be a decision that is made based on the facts, based on the truth. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself about a codependent situation in which you are probably involved in with somebody that there isn't any love there. And I feel like there's any love there because there's somebody else. So I feel like this week there's going to be, um, I think there's some sort of alignment going on. Going on. There's an alignment that is, is, it feels like this alignment is bringing two people together that are meant to be together. And you may need to uh, be honest, just be honest with yourself in regards to whatever this is. Be honest with your feelings. 
I feel like you're dealing with an individual who hasn't been honest and upfront about their feelings. This, there's a lack of, of, of happiness here. This person is sad. I feel like this person has been, you know, moping and crying and uh, struggling with a loss. But there is an opportunity. This person has another opportunity for love. And I feel like you may have been uh, choosing to stay attached to this person because of codependency issues. Anyway, I do feel like a change is in the air. Things are accepting that something is over, accepting that a relationship is over. That is that is where you're at. I think you're going to be accepting that something is over and maybe falling in love with somebody else. Or they could be, you know, because of that lover's card. That's an unexpected choice in love. It's like you didn't ask for it. You know, but but you did. You did, but you, you didn't ask for this person. You know, this is not who you asked for. You know, so I do, but, but this is what you get, you know. Um... I do feel like there isn't there's like an angel or cupid or a higher power that are that is bringing two people together that are meant to be together and you know you have to be honest you have to be honest with yourself be honest that's that's a big message here with the queen of swords and the and the uh justice card we could also be dealing with a libra we also have a libra here um There could also be news of legalities this week, okay? There could be some legal issues. Somebody may... I, I, I really feel, Taurus, like you're dealing with somebody who is in love with somebody from their past. And you may need to accept it. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Be honest with yourself. Be truthful. There's definitely a toxic partnership here that uh, somebody needs to break free from. They need to break free from this toxic partnership. So I feel like this week is a week of action. Okay? I think that you could should get prepared for a change. Possibly a breakup or a reconciliation or something like that. Good luck.